loves to use their crock pot for the usual things of making soups or chillant on Shabbos. But the crock pot is an under um, taken advantage of actual piece of equipment in our kitchen. And today we're going to make a delicious crock pot roast that's going to save time and make people think that you slaved all day in the kitchen. So to begin with our crock pot roast, we're going to begin with a five pound beef roast. This is a chuck eye roast, but you can use a brisket or a square roast or the like. We're going to take our roast and we're going to mix it, or I should say cover it, with Dijon mustard. About a tablespoon, but depending on the size of the roast, you could probably use a little bit more than that. It's time to get our hands nice and dirty and scoop out our mustard. And you want to cover the entire roast with the mustard. Some Dijon uh, mustards have wine in it, which really is great for roast because it tenderizes it more. The alcohol um, makes it a little bit softer from the cooking. And the fact that it's going to be in a crock pot the entire time will definitely promise you a nice, soft roast. So we covered up our roast. We're going to set it aside. And get everything ready. Now that all of our ingredients are ready, we're going to start by covering the bottom of the crock pot pan with one large onion or two small onions. And see, I slice them in rings. You don't want to dice them too small. You want to keep them in big so that all the flavor can be infused into the entire piece of meat. I'm going to cover the entire bottom of the pan with the sliced onions. I'm going to place our roast on top. And next comes the perfect ingredients to tenderize our roast and give it wonderful flavor. I'm going to start with a third of a cup of soy sauce. Now, soy sauce is really interesting. There are about 25, 50, maybe even 100 different varieties of soy sauce from different parts of the Eastern or Asian countries. Um, the soy sauce is the kind of ingredient that should be a staple in your pantry and be sure to refrigerate it because if you leave your soy sauce in the cabinet, it tends to get a little bit on the bitter side. So we have our soy sauce. Also, because we have the soy sauce, we don't really need to use as much salt. And the meat itself also has a lot of salt, so we didn't add any to our ingredients. Now, we're going to get a, quart, a half a cup of real maple syrup. A real maple syrup has a wonderful, wonderful taste. So again, many different varieties of this, and you can find ones that's to your liking. Just. And um, we poured that soy sauce and real maple syrup on top of the roast, which gives it a really nice glaze, and it will seep in as we cook it. Next, um, we're going to add our vegetables. Another reason that we make the crock pot roast is because we're so short on time to make supper the night before, so it's nice to have everything prepared right then for your recipe. I put my potatoes in some cold water, nice and chunked potatoes, so that they don't get browned. The sweet potatoes don't need to be um, put in the water, but they can be covered. And I would say, this is a pretty large carrot, so you can use one large cra carrot or two to three small carrots, chunked. If you want to give them a really nice shape, you can slice them on an angle, which makes them more elongated and oval. Okay. So we're going to add our vegetables to our crock pot, spreading them out evenly. Another great thing about the crock pot is it's infused with the vegetables all day long, sitting on your countertop while you're at work or shopping or do any, doing any of your errands. And because there's no evaporation of the water, all the vitamins that are in your vegetables, like the wonderful vitamin um, and antioxidants you'll find in sweet potatoes and in the vitamin A in carrots, that this makes for a very healthy meal. Again, always feel free to um, play with the ingredients. If you're someone who really likes onions, of course, add some more. If you want some more sweet potatoes. If you don't like sweet potatoes, then leave them out of the recipe. It'll be just fine. 
the roast and the sauce is really what will make it taste delicious. Here are our potatoes that we've been leaving in cold water. I'm going to drain them out. Sometimes this is also a good thing to do in general because there are a lot of starches in the potatoes and by putting them in water it will um, let the starch rise to the top of the water and then all you have to do is put the potatoes on top. Some people ask me which potatoes really work the best. I like to use golden potatoes. Sometimes if I'm in a rush I'll get baby red potatoes then I'll have just to scrub them and not cut them in half. Or plain old Idaho works also just fine. Crock pots really are foolproof because with a crock pot you don't have to worry so much. The actual heating element is what makes it cook the best. And then all you have to do is turn on your crock pot, cover your roast, and then wait for a few hours. Okay, our crock pot's been roasting and cooking for eight hours all day. We kept it on a high flame. If you think you need more time for this, then you can cook it on a lower flame for much longer. And our roast looks absolutely delicious here. So let's see. I'm going to grab it out of the pot by the strings. Wow. It shrinks a little bit, which is normal. Shouldn't be concerned about that. And sometimes the onions get stuck to it. These kitchen scissors are the best to have for a variety of reasons in the kitchen, but Getting rid of the twine from your roast is one of them. Here we go. The TV doesn't have a smelling option yet, but let me tell you, this thing smells delicious. Okay, we're going to slice our roast now. We'll use this large fork to hold it down, and we're going to Slice it. Okay, so we're using our knife. Wow, this meat really is very tender, very delicious. Um, you could use a fork, but I prefer to use my hands to hold the roast together to get a good slice out of it. And using a meat knife to slice it into nice slices. A chuck eye roast is a very tender cut and very fatty. So slicing it can sometimes be difficult. If you find you have this problem, you can either serve it more of a stew way, or you can um, cook the roast a little earlier and then leave it in the refrigerator, which makes it um, a little bit more firm and easier to slice. We're not being so successful here with that, but really that's one of the benefits of this crock pot roast is how soft and succulent and tender this meat is. And if you really end up having something like this happen to you, especially maybe if you want to serve it, that's okay. Just kind of work with the um, situation. And you can use this roast as a mixture in the center of your recipe. We can scoop that over there. And we can take a little scoop of soft, succulent meat. Every kind of roast cut that you're going to use is going to have a different effect on it. So keep that in mind. You can try a brisket with this. You can try a square roast. Maybe a tougher um, cut will yield an easier to cut roast. The best part of this recipe is the delicious soft potatoes to surround it. We actually made this the other day for our family and they made extra potatoes than usual. And for some reason, even with making extra potatoes, that was the first thing to go. For a Shabbos, for a Friday night, you can use this. Just look at the color and the contrast between the sweet potatoes and the regular potatoes. Look how brown they got. You almost can't even tell them apart because they're in such a nice glaze here. What's really nice about the recipe also is how nicely the onions brown. makes it nice and soft. And what I love about roast, even though it's been cooking in the crock pot, if you have leftovers, it freezes really well and reheats. Okay. There you go. Delicious supper with very little effort. Enjoy.